He's asleep. All right, so today we got a quick topic. Uh, sandbox games, kind of like Project Spark and Disney Infinity and things like that. And how should they be built, really? Um, I should have this up here. Goes down. But anyways, um, so basically, Disney Infinity used the figures to to use things, um, like characters and stuff. Um, and then there's several Disney things represented in game. But Project Spark is a little different in the sense that you don't have to buy figures, you just, you can buy DLC packs and stuff, but I mean everything is kind of there. And so it's like, should you use the figures or the, or, or the, the Project Spark method where it's just like DLC? I honestly prefer DLC because DLC is cheaper. In a figure, you have to pay for a physical object. And it has to. You also have to pay for their shipping, basically, and the stores are going to charge a little more, just so that they can make a profit off. And if the company is just trying to make a profit, it's going to be cheaper than if the company is making a profit off a company that is going to make a profit off of you. If you got several layers of profits needed, it's going to continue to increase the price because they're going to be like, well, we have to pay this much for shipping, so we have to raise all of them up this much. We have to pay this much for production, so it has to go up this much. And so it's, it's just all a big sales web. And that, that leads to a lot of money coming from the consumer. Like, I would honestly like it if Nintendo had one, like Disney Infinity, but that's because the Amiibo already, they get used in so much, and so it's not like you have to buy it just for that, because I mean, Disney Infinity, it's like, buy it for Disney Infinity or you, you don't have it. And then, for like, Skylanders as well, it's buy it for Skylanders, you don't buy it for anything else, nothing else uses it. But, like, with Nintendo, they're like, you can use it in Mario Party, and Mario Kart, and Super Smash Brothers, and Captain Toad Treasure Tracker, and Hyrule Warriors. I mean, they've got a massive list. I mean, they're going to have them in Splatoon. Um, they have them in Codename Steam. Like, there's a lot of ways they use Amiibo, and, and they could be used in this way, I think, quite successfully. But, just say goodbye to Chris. Excuse me. If you liked this video and would like to see more, please subscribe to us on YouTube and follow us on Google+, where we post behind-the-scenes things, funny pictures, and more. We hope to see you there.